Some of you or all of you might remember the uh, 2002 movie Panic Room, which starred Jodie Foster as a mom who had a safe room installed in her home for added security. Demand is surging for safe rooms right now in cities like Los Angeles. Alex Capriello is joining us live from L.A. to tell us exactly how much these a very expensive security measures cost, though I am sure added peace of mind is priceless. Yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. Honestly, a lot of the ultra wealthy are the ones that are investing in this new technology, but they have a lot that they need to protect both the life and their property. That's why I'm standing here in Beverly Hills where there is a surge in these panic rooms. I spoke to one in-demand contractor who told me all about what it takes to put one inside a home. Across California, violent crime impacts the innocent. Like this armed robbery in the Fairfax district of Los Angeles, where a family was followed home at gunpoint and beaten at their doorstep. Or the now infamous home invasion turned murder of Beverly Hills celebrity Jacqueline Avant. This 29-year-old man accused of the murder was caught with an AR-15 just hours after allegedly killing the wife of Grammy Award winner Clarence Avant. Robberies across the greater Los Angeles area are up 18% compared to this time last year. And the number jumps up to 44% when a gun is involved. We want to identify who's out here preying upon people committing street robberies and, and other crimes, and we want to arrest them and bring them before the criminal justice system. But now, some celebrities and some of the area's ultra-rich have decided they don't want to wait for the police and they've turned to building their own fortified safe rooms. We're not talking just like carjackings. We're talking about home invasions, murders, shootings. It's out of control. People are just more crazy now than they've ever been. We sat together and looked at the materials, armored doors, and Kevlar compositions for the walls, enough to stop multiple rounds of a handgun. If you look at this, this is several rounds of, you know, what handguns can do, right? But if you look at the back, can you see the bulge? A typical panic room costs between fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. That includes armored doors, fortified walls, and electronic surveillance. But in this business, Rigdon will say there's no price tag on your life. It's not an extreme. It gives you that much time to basically protect yourself, your belongings, your family before you know the sheriffs or the police are going to show up. And it's not just here in Los Angeles. Demand is also up in Atlanta, Miami, Las Vegas. Also, Adrian, overseas, Rigdon, who's also contracted to build these panic rooms, is getting a lot of attention in London as people fear the possibility of a nuclear war or Russians' threat of expansion towards the West. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.